So of course, uh, the Vice President is going to speak tonight. This is what everyone is waiting for here. Um, what, what do you expect of her? What does she need to accomplish tonight? Well, I mean, it's hard to say. She's got to be herself. She's got to be true to herself. And uh, she's got a number of um, forces coming at her in a variety of different ways. And she's got to be able to shape a certain kind of character and a certain kind of witness that people feel as if it's distinctly heard. It's almost like a jazz musician. Is that your voice or is that an echo? It's hard for a politician to move from echo to voice, and she's got to be able to make that move. Do you have a sense of her voice right now? Well, you know, she's always struck me as a kind of moderate, centrist, liberal voice. And, you know, that's her voice. She, gotta be, she has to be true to it. But, uh, but that's a voice and a tradition that I don't think can get at the deeper issues facing the country and the world. When you talk about the relation of the Democratic Party to Wall Street and Silicon Valley and the 1% and so on, you got that's a kind of imposed myopia. You got the economists coming out of the Democratic Party talking about the economy is the best that it can be, and yet you got 22% of the children living in poverty, 40% of black and brown children living in poverty, 62% of fellow citizens living paycheck to paycheck, and you're going to celebrate how excellent the economy is? Maybe the statistics look nice, but under those statistics, they're real human beings. you got to keep track of their suffering, no matter who, who they are. So I think those are some of the real constraints that I see on both the party as well as uh, Sister Harris. But it's, it's a symbolic breakthrough, and that's, that, that's a beautiful thing. What would be your wish, you know, for the future of America or the future of the Democratic Party then? See, I come out of the Martin Luther King Jr. legacy and he was an abolitionist. I want an America with no poverty, no homelessness. I want an America where people can straighten their backs up, work hard, be able to live lives of decency and dignity. I want an America where there's a sense of respect mediating people who disrespect, disagree with each other. And I want an America that has a sense of humility, not self-righteousness, not a sense of innocence, but a sense of maturity. The last thing we need is a nation that grows powerful and wealthy and never grows up. And one, one sign of maturity is always what? Humility, self-criticism, willingness to grow and develop.